it's Cassidy from Cassidy Reads and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I would do my 2020 goals as far as reading and maybe some personal goals as well as my TBR for January. Now I am participating in the Smut-a-thon. It's my first ever time participating in that so I won't mention any of the books that I'm reading for that but I will be posting a video for that um the categories for that in a couple of days. It does start January 4th, so I'll post it probably around then. But today is the first day of January and the first day of 2020, so I thought today would be a great day to post the goals for my reading. So my first goal for 2020 is going to be reading 200 books. I haven't read that many ever, and I did read 160 for 2019 and I was only supposed to read 120 so I think I could make 200 especially if I really put my mind to it and I really do want to do a lot of readathons this year so I feel like that will really help. I do also include my audiobooks and my rereads um, but in most cases they don't really count towards like the number but I do put them on my goodreads as far as like counting what books I read. So I think I could actually get 200 done, um, we'll see. I see a bunch of people like do like 400 plus books, I'm like how do they get it done? I can't even do like 150. So I'm hoping I could really get 200 books done and I think if I really put my mind to it I can get it done. Now my next goal as far as reading is probably reading more subgenres and more tropes in the romance category. I am very bad at reading other books in the romance category that aren't like enemies to lovers or sports romances. I tend to stay away from like rock star romances or secret baby romances so I'm trying to get out of that like funk and read more of books in the romance category. I would really like to read more historical romance and more paranormal romance this year especially as far as like J.R. Ward's um, books. I did read one of her books last year so I'm hoping I can get through with the Black Brotherhood Dagger series and I feel like I can really start enjoying more romances if I do like start reading them. Um, it's not going to be really easy because I am a huge mood reader and I'm trying to get out of that as well. Especially as an arc reader it's kind of hard being a mood reader and wanting to just read you know books at a certain time but then I have like say a cowboy romance and I'm really in the mood for office romances. So those kind of going together so I'm kind of hoping that I can read more in the romance category. To go more along with reading more romance in the romance category, I'm hoping to also read other books besides romance. As most of you all know, if you have been watching my videos, I only really read romance. I haven't really read that many other books besides like books that were for school and things like that. So I am trying to read maybe more like nonfiction books or maybe fiction books. I don't know if I could really read nonfiction, but we'll see. I think it would be really cool to read more books and kind of broaden my horizons as far as books. Um, it's definitely not going to help my bookshelf, but it would really be a lot of fun to get into more books, maybe mystery or something like that. <laughs> And the last thing I would really like to accomplish in 2020, and this is something I try to do every year, but this year it's very important that I get it done, and that is read books from my TBR instead of just buying new books. Of course, I'm always going to buy books, but I would really like to tackle at least two shelves on my TBR shelf, and if you haven't seen my TBR shelf, I do have a video for the reveal of my TBR shelf. But I really do want to read a lot of books off my TBR shelf. I do also have a TBR cart and that has been kind of helping me tackle month to month TBRs because I've been putting all the books that I'd really like to read in a specific month on the cart. So right now I have all the January books that I'd like to read on the cart and maybe hopefully it would work out for every month in 2020. But I would really, really, really like to read all the TBR books that I have. Of course, like I said, I'm going to always buy books, but... It's really important that I read TBR books because I do have a designated shelf for my TBR and I don't want to move those books onto my shelf until I read them. Now on to the TBR for January. I do have quite a few books for the Smut-a-thon so I will not mention those but as far as other books that I'd like to read in January. I'd like to read Crush by Mae Woods. I did receive an arc of this but I kind of started it in December but I really didn't have time to read it so I will 
probably restart it and read it in January now that I have a paperback because Mae would send it to me. Thank you so much, Mae. Um, the second book I would really like to read is Inappropriate by Vi Keelan. This doesn't come out until the mid-January, I believe January 20th. And then also I would really like to read A Favor for Favor by Helena Hunting and that also comes out in the end of January. It comes out January 28th. Like I said, that was a really short TBR list, but I will be posting a Smutathon video down the line a couple days from now to talk about all the books that I'd like to read for that. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your reading goals are for this year as far as how many books you'd like to read or other things that you would like to achieve as far as reading for 2020. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Bye!